This video is going to be a little bit different than normal because uh, today to review our factoring skills we're going to play a little game. Taxman is played like this. We're going to start with a collection of paychecks from $1 to $12. Now these aren't real paychecks. You, you don't have to make anything physical. We can just use the numbers and we'll write them down. I'll show you in an example how we can do this. So you can choose any paycheck to keep. Once you choose this paycheck, the tax collector gets all paychecks remaining that are factors of the number you chose. The tax collector must receive payment after every move. So if you have no more moves that give the tax collector a paycheck, the game is over and the tax collector gets all the remaining paychecks. The goal is to beat the tax collector. So you want to collect as much money from these paychecks as you possibly can, so much so that even though the tax collector is getting paychecks that are factors of the one you chose, um, you still come out ahead at the end. So I'm going to show you an example. So here's our example, and you can see I don't need to make anything for this game. I can just list all the numbers from $1 to $12. There's all the paychecks, and uh, that's all we need to get started. So. This is just going to be an example so I can demonstrate the rules of the game. So we're going to start by taking an $8 paycheck. The $8 paycheck. So that's the one that I'm going to take. The tax collector is going to get all the paychecks uh, that are factors of 8. So that is numbers that we can divide 8 by cleanly and get whole number answers. So factors of 8. Uh, I'll list them off to the side here. I won't do this for all the future numbers, but just as a quick review, uh, 1 times 8 gets 8, so 1 and 8 are factors. We obviously don't get, need to give the uh, tax collector the 8, because we just chose that one. But we will have to give them the 1. So the tax collector is going to get the $1 paycheck. Other factors of 8, 2 and 4, because 2 times 4 equals 8. So the tax collector gets those two paychecks. And if we think long and hard about other factors, and we can even look at the list, there are no other factors of 8. Uh, so we're done. The tax collector collects the $1, $2, and $4 paychecks. So these ones are now all gone from the game. They've been chosen. Uh, now I'm going to pick the, I'm thinking, okay, I need the most expensive paychecks I can get, right, or the, the most valuable one. So I'm going to pick the $12 paycheck. So that's the one I'm going to choose next. The tax collector is going to get any remaining paychecks that are factors of 12. So looking through the list, 3 is a factor of 12. Uh, and actually, so are 1 and 2 and 4. But because they were already chosen, he's not going to get them again. He or she are not going to get them again. Uh, so 3 is another factor of 12, and 6 is a factor of 12, and those are the only ones that are left, 3 and 6. So we've now got 8 and 12, and the tax collector is 1, 2, 4, 3, and 6. I think this is probably looking pretty good for us. The next one I'll take is 10. Are there any factors of 10 remaining? Yeah, 5 is a factor of 10 that's left, and so is 2, but again, 2's already been chosen, so uh, just 5 of the ones that are left. So the tax collector gets 5. Okay, now here's the issue. There are 3 numbers left, 7, 9, and 11. But in order for me to take a turn, the tax collector needs to be able to get the remaining factors. Uh, has, has to be able to collect as well. I can't take 7 because it has no factors besides 1 in itself. So if I picked 7, the tax collector couldn't collect anything. So that's an illegal move. I can't take 9 because the factors of 9 are not remaining, so the tax collector couldn't collect anything. And the same goes with 11. So I can take no more legal moves, the game is over, and the tax collector gets... 7, 9, and 11. So let's total up these scores. So I got 8, 12, and 10. That totals to 
$30. The tax collector gets 1, 2, 4, 3, 6, 5, 7, 9, and 11. That totals to $48. So the tax collector has won this game and I have lost. So that's the game. It's pretty simple. The end game where figuring out if there's any legal moves left, that's probably the trickiest part, but you'll get that with some practice. So now it's your turn to try to beat the tax collector in the try it yourself section. And there are also some other questions you can ask yourself about factoring uh, as you explore through this game.